Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Turney Talks podcast. I am your host, Jacob Turney, and this is my guest, Jordan Turney. I'm his younger brother. And today we'll be talking about Angry Birds. So that thing I said that I, that was gonna blow your mind about the pigs. Yeah. Did you know that the king pig? There are two king pigs. Ow. There are just two king pigs. Do you know who? You know who one is, don't you? Leonard. Yeah. Who's the other one? The other king pig is named something. Hold on, let me do it quick. Do you know what Leonard's full name is actually? Nope. Leonard Mudbeard. Leonard Mudbeard. Leonard Mudbeard. Doesn't even have a beard. He does. He does? I don't remember that. Nay, it's his defining character trait. Nay. Nope, no cap. I must have been looking at a different pig then. Holy. What? That's Leonard. Who? Who's the other one? The other one? His that name. That one's the other one. Yep, that's the other one. The movie King Pig and the game King Pig are two different kings. The other King Pig is... He's only known as King Smooth Cheeks. King Smooth Cheeks? Yep. The main Angry Birds Pig, King Pig, who's in Angry Birds Tunes as well, is Smooth Cheeks. Okay. So I was looking at that one then. And you want to know that. some even crazier lore? King Smooth Cheeks is Leonard's son. What? Yeah. I thought they were brothers. Nope. And apparently the... Which, it ain't confirmed nor, but... That could mean that the Angry Birds lore from the games fits into the movies too. Because Leonard was the first King Pig. Then there was Peace. But when he stepped down, the Angry Birds and the Pigs were at war again. Because of Smooth Cheeks. Well, that's interesting. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. It's pretty wild. And do you know why the pigs are the enemies of the angry birds? They steal the eggs. Well, from a designer, game design standpoint, I mean. No. During the time that angry birds came out, there was a disease called the swine flu. Oh, I heard of that. Flu. Yeah, so they made the pigs the enemies. So the angry birds battled the swine flu. That's weird. Yeah. King Smooth Cheeks. Yep, yeah, King Smooth Cheeks. You want to know some other crazy potential lore? Huh. There are multiple Angry Birds universes. Like Star Wars, Transformers. And you know how some of the Angry Bird trailers have different art styles? Apparently that's because they're in different universes. Well, that's 
unexpected. Yeah. Okay, you know some other crazy Angry Birds lore? You know how in the game universe that uh, how Mighty Eagle stays in his cave? Yep. Apparently that's because in the Angry Birds National Geographic like the nature book. The nature book. Yeah. The Angry Bird Mighty Eagle stays in his cave due to failing to protect the eggs once. He's depressed? Yeah. He stays in there out of shame. That's weird. It's kind of like the movies. In the game, he's like, he looks so stoic, you know? Kinda. You wouldn't really think he would be in shame at a glance, you know? I guess, but apparently, well, that geographic is from like 2012 when Angry Birds first released. So that could be wrong now, but but that still might be. You know what I just read? Oh. Apparently that Angry Birds tunes and the games aren't in the same universe. But I don't believe that, so. I don't either. Yep, that's Cap. They kind of like give more story to the game. If anything. Yeah. That person was Cap. Whoever typed that up. Typed that up. They're capping. Wrote their essay. You know what else is according to the National Geographic? Oh. Terrence, your favorite Angry Bird? Second. Has childhood trauma. Childhood trauma? Yeah. And you know what happens to pigs when they're popped, according to an Angry Birds Slingshot Stories episode? Huh. They go to this white void, like, purgatory. What? Yeah. But apparently, they can just return whenever, after they pop. Well, that don't make they sense. They can just go back to the normal Angry Birds world. So apparently them getting popped is canon to the universe. I thought they were, I thought that was just for game purposes. Yeah. Apparently not. According to Angry Birds slingshot stories. Okay, let's talk about their characters now. So who's your favorite Angry Bird then? My top three, I think it was red, main one. Red and then Terrence. Course. And then it's really debatable for me for third place either Mighty Eagle or Chuck Chuck my favorite Angry Birds are probably Red of course Bomb and Terrence Bomb and Terrence movie Bomb is kind of mid but I still <laughs> like Bomb yeah so who's who's your least favorite Angry Bird then Probably, probably the boomerang one. Boomerang? How come you don't like how? <laughs> well, I don't really know much about him, but I mean his ability is cool in the game, in the games, but I personally don't like, I don't know, I don't like how he looks I guess. Hal does kind of look weird outside of his main game appearance, <laughs> in my opinion. Yeah. He looks like a, like a little tin of jello. A little tin of jello? So who's your favorite pig, then? <sighs> Probably that little pig that follows King Leonard around. You know that one? From the movie? The first movie? Yeah. Yeah, I know that pig. I can't remember his name. Pretty sure he has a name. I don't remember it either. My favorite pig is probably King Smooth Cheeks. The other king pig? Yeah. Either that or the Darth Vader pig. From the Star Wars game? Yeah. Who isn't even a pig? 
Yeah, he's just a bird. He's a bird in a pig in disguise. Yeah. Alright then, should we do an Angry Birds tier list now? Yes. So, who do you think should go in? What, what would you rate the Red Bird? Me personally? S. S. Absolutely. S. He is like an iconic gaming icon now. He has the best character throughout the tunes, the games, yes, the movies, the movies, everything. Yeah. He, I'm pretty sure he even made it on a Pringles thing, you know? Yeah, Pringles thing. Pringles ad. Everyone knows the Red Bird. He belongs in S. He does. So what do you think about the Blue Birds then? Underrated, honestly. They deserve more. I think A. They don't appear a. much, but I think A. You know what I think? Hmm. D. D? Yeah. Oh, come on. D. Think about it. They ain't even in the movies. Yeah, they are. Nay, at the end of the first one for like a second. Well, that's what I mean. They're underrated. But in the games, everyone well, loves them. Well, yeah, we loved them, but think about their abilities. They're only good against ice. Well, they barely even... I'll move it to B. How about a C? How about a C? I can compromise for a C for the Bluebirds. C. Alright, C is the blue. What about your favorite Chuck? Another iconic one. Everyone likes Chuck. He's pretty cool. His ability is decent, it's okay. He's not that good against the tougher walls, but yeah, he's good. And he's in the movies, he's a good character. He's a pretty funny character in the movies. In the tunes? And in the tunes. Yeah, yeah. and in the tunes. He's like a goat in the tunes. Yeah. I feel like B or A. Yeah, I think B or A. Maybe, maybe A. He's one of the biggest three. Yeah, I agree. The Chuck goes in the A. Yep. Oh my god, you know what? Not even recording the... <laughs> so, yeah, I'll put that in there too. But yeah, this is the tier list right now. And so what do you think about the Bomb Bird? Honestly, he's cool. Also in the biggest three, the main three, the trio, I think also A with him. A, huh? Yep. Hmm. He's a good character in the movies. Pretty good, yeah. Pretty good I'm in not, the tunes. I'm not sure about the tunes. I haven't seen him much in there, but he's good in the game, too. He's a pretty cool character, I think. Yep. So he'll go in the A tier. I agree with that one. What about Matilda? Again, good character in the movies, not sure about tunes. In the game, I personally liked using Matilda. I love that ability, yeah. where she shoots the egg and it blows up. Yeah. I like that She's ability. a unique character. I think B or A with her. B or A, huh? Maybe, maybe B. I think she might go down to B. Maybe B. She's pretty good in the tunes, though. But is she, but is she on the same level as Bomb and Chuck? Probably not. Probably not. No, she'll go and B. And what about Terrence? He's probably the, he's probably in top five next to Mighty Eagle and most favorites of all the birds. Again, he's really good in the game. Really good for breaking the. Tougher walls. Yeah, he's a strong character. Yep. And in the tunes, he's just kind of like a gag character. Yeah, he's pretty funny in the tunes. And, and the, the movie. movie. Yep. I like him. Maybe A. I think Terrence belongs in S. Yeah, I'll go with S. S. Two red birds in the S. Yep. And what about Hal? Oh. I'm thinking C or D. C? Holy. Well, maybe B. 
Maybe B. Maybe B. While in that one Angry Birds trailer, he's like the hero. He saved the eggs. Yeah, good point. But Hal was kind of funny in that Angry Birds movie short that we seen. Yeah. With him and Bubbles. And hmm. Smosh is Hal and Bubbles. You know, B or A is okay with me. You know I'm what? thinking more B, but... I think I agree with your take on C. Even though I love to use him, and he's like named after a Green Lantern and everything, mm. I still think he belongs in C. Yeah. C tier for how? Yep. And his designs are kind of weird. So. Yeah. And what about Bubbles? I like Bubbles. He instantly became a good character. His yeah. ability was broken, honestly. It knocked over everything he came came in touch with. He grew so massive, you practically took out all the pigs. Yeah. In the movie, he was... Same in the movie. Almost took out the whole kingdom. And in the tunes, I, I never seen him in the tunes. I, I don't know if he's in them. He's in a few of the shorts... He's in, like, both of the Halloween ones he stars there. Oh, yeah, the Halloween ones, huh? It's because I think, I think he oh, you stars know in the Halloween ones because he's a black and orange. You know that game on mobile phone where you cut the rope to get the candy to yeah. the little monster? It's called Cut the Rope. Yeah, Cut the Rope. He, he was in that game before. I remember. That's pretty cool. I yeah. didn't know that. i seen him in there. I'm pretty... Actually, you know what? It might have been for Halloween as well. That's pretty cool. Yep. Bubbles is a good guy. Yeah, he's pretty I fun. think I think he might be in B. I B think here. he belongs in B, yeah. I like Bubbles. But B for Bubbles. Yep, B for Bubbles. And what about Stella? In my opinion, I think she's overrated. I don't know who overrates Stella, but... I kind of agree. I've seen a couple of uh, YouTubers. Um, the movies, really big side character. Barely yeah. seen her at barely all. Barely even in there, like Hal and yep. Bubbles. And the game, kind of forgot about her in the game. I don't pay much attention to her. Stella was added to Angry Birds when I was about to like head out of Angry Birds. So, so she's always had a weird spot for me. To me, she's always been like the new one. The new one? The one that I didn't get to like play around with the most. I'm thinking C or D. C, I think she belongs in the C. Or maybe a D. Well, she is more on the iconic side. Maybe, maybe C. I do like her design a lot, and I think yeah. her ability is good. So, yeah. I think she'll go and C. C. What about Silver? In the movie, main character. Pretty good character. Pretty decent, yeah. In the tunes, I don't know about that much, but... I have hardly seen her in the tunes. Mm, the game? Okay. Yeah, she's pretty okay. alright. Yeah. Maybe, maybe C. Maybe C. Yeah, I think Silver C. Yeah. Now, the Mighty Eagle. The original Mighty Eagle? The game Mighty Eagle. The game one. The game one, he's... And Tunes. And Tunes. Well, now that I know about all that backstory, he's definitely up in my ranking. But, super strong character. Yeah. If you needed him, he took out everyone in the games. Yeah. Insta win. And, in the tunes, I don't, I don't, I haven't ever seen he him. He is tunes. not a main player, but he does show up in rare instances. And in, like, trailers and stuff. Oh, trailers, yeah. Remember the one where the red bird takes the tuna to his cave? Yeah. I yeah. remember that one. I'd say maybe A or B. For me, Mighty Eagle is an S tier. 
I'm sticking with A, but A. For me, Mighty Eagle is well, almost as iconic as the Red Bird for me. Oh, you know what? Yeah, he's pretty big iconic. They have really good plushies of him too. Yeah, the giant one. I yep, gotta super get big that. one. I gotta get that. You know what? S tier. S tier for Mighty Eagle. I agree. And he's the strongest Angry Bird of them all. Yep. So these are a little bit of the same characters, but but with but with space powers. drip, space powers, and space radiation drip <laughs> powers. Yep. So what about the Red Bird space? Um, he's not S tier. I he's, agree. I agree. Maybe maybe A or B tier. I think Red Bird Space. Space Game was a good one. Yeah. You know what? I think he goes in A. Just because he's iconic. When you see him, you think of Angry Bird Space. You do. And when you think of Angry yeah. Space, you think of him. So now the main, like, the, this is like the Shadow the Hedgehog of the <laughs> Angry Bird Space. Yeah. Uh, the Ice Bird. He's, he's not even... He's a con he's like an entirely new bird, right? Yep. He's not nobody from before. He's the bird from space. He protects his own golden space egg. And he crashed down to the Angry Birds planet from trying to evade the pigs, but they opened the portal to chase him down. And he shot through their slingshot and they followed after him. Oh yeah. I remember that. He was really cool, honestly. Yeah, Icebird is a cool guy. Yep. Bird I'm thinking... Character. But, due to iconicness, I feel like B. Yeah, he's iconic. The Icebird is like... Well, maybe A. Well, no. I think if he they only... used him more in Yeah, like... if they used him more. If he like, showed up once and never really never came again. back. Yep. Not in nothing. They didn't even make like parodies of him. Yep. Like in Angry Birds Star Wars, they could have made him the carbon bird, like Han Solo. Yeah. But they didn't. I think maybe B. Uh, maybe B. His limited appearances. Yeah. If not, I, li I like the S bird a lot. Maybe S, but I think he probably belonged in A. If he made more, if he appeared more, yeah. yeah. And what about the space blues? I don't remember much about the space blue birds. They're pretty much the same, but they had the flash headpiece on. Well, they're better than the regular ones because drip, obviously. Yeah. You gotta go with the drip. So, I'm thinking B. You know what? F. <laughs> F. F? Nah. Well, actually, they go you know to what? C, I think. I think they go to C. Iconicness? I don't think they're as iconic I feel as like, the normal No, people. definitely not, but. I feel like they. You know what? Yeah, I agree with that. They probably meet in the middle, but. Maybe C or D. No, I, you know I what, think C, but maybe, you know what, know what, because of the ice bird who turns things to ice, which is their speciality, maybe he goes up to B. Yeah, I guess. Because Angry Bird Space dealt with a lot of ice and a lot of bubbles, and he could... Oh just, yeah, I remember that. He could just shoot off in the three ways, and... Yeah, I remember that. I think he goes up I to remember, B. I remember when you shoot him and use his ability, it would like warp around whatever yeah. was in the way. Yeah, he's pretty good. Yeah. So, Space Blue Bird goes up to B. Yep. Now, this bird, the Space Chuck, is named Laser Bird. Laser Bird? Yeah. Oh yeah, I remember. So, I remember. what tier do you think he goes to? He's one. He's definitely one of the cooler looking ones. Yeah, he's so definitely cool. Definitely one of the cooler looking ones. Definitely for sure, he's cool. Chuck always has the coolest designs. Yep. I feel like high B tier, or maybe low A tier. I think A tier too, cause I don't think he passes up in the S yet. No. Nope. Well, maybe I'll change my mind on that one. 
He's quite iconic, though. I know a lot of people that remember yeah. him. Yeah. And you know what his ability is, don't you? I think so. When you shoot him, you can tap where you want him to speed up to. I remember that, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I remember that. It's pretty useful. It is, really. It's not really the easiest to aim. And... So, while we were recording the podcast, the storage on my phone, or not really my phone, but a phone that I was recording on, was, like, filled to the brim, so our recordings got cut short. But basically, this right here is where I put the space laser bird. He goes in like this tier right here and unfortunately our recordings got cut on the opinion but we both think he's pretty cool we think, we think he deserves a spot I I won't do the rest of the tier list because I'm already a little bit over the time limit and everything so uh, yeah but this is the tier list so far. We got it done pretty well. I thought we did pretty good on it. We were going to do the Bombard as well, but uh, we realized that's when it stopped recording. The Space Bombard. I think we gave him a B or a C because we don't think he was that useful. And the egg wasn't that... Well, it was okay. We thought it was like a C as well. Then, uh, then the green bird right here, we thought that, or I think, I think he is a C because he's kind of disappointing in Angry Bird's face. Bubbles though, I think he might be a B or an A tier. Then the Space Mighty Eagle, I have to give him I would say an A probably because while I don't think he's as good as the original Mighty Eagle I still think he's cool and he looks kinda cool and it's cool that he opens a portal and everything so yeah that's pretty much our podcast and we talked about Angry Birds we talked about Angry Birds lore, Angry Birds, their characters, when we liked about them, what characters we like, and then we did a tier list on them, so yeah, that's pretty much it, and that's the end, see ya.